Developing tonight, investigators are now treating a homicide investigation as a double homicide. Officials confirming a six-year-old we told you was shot and critically injured in a Tuesday shooting has died. Police were called to the area of Poppy Avenue Tuesday evening. That's right near where the 435 goes over Raleigh Street. Well, officials say the girl and her mom were both shot, taken to the hospital. A third person, a man, died on Wednesday. News 6's Brian Didlake brings us the latest on the investigation. Now, this has been a tragic update from Orlando police who named not only the six year old girl, but the third victim as well. And while many questions still remain, police say that the mother and daughter who were victims in all of this were not the attended targets. Eagles Nest School families, this is Principal Adams calling with some very sad news to share. Yesterday afternoon, I was notified of the tragic death of one of our students. In a voicemail sent to parents, the Eagles Nest Elementary community learned about the death of six-year-old Ajalia Hashim. Hashim's mother still remains in the hospital. Hashim and her mother were both shot this past Tuesday evening on Poppy Avenue. It was the same night as the county was bracing for possible impacts of Hurricane Adalia. Orlando police Friday sent out this statement saying it is believed this was a drive by shooting and the six year old and her mother were not the attendant targets. Police in their update naming the third victim 19 year old Isaiah Wright. Wright, according to investigators, was dropped off at a nearby hospital where he later died. It is unclear Wright's connection to Hashim and her mother or if Wright was the target. We have reached out to Orlando police multiple times requesting an incident report to learn more about what happened and the connections of all the victims. At this time, we had not received that report. I know I speak for the entire Eagles Nest community when I express the grief we feel at the loss of one of our own. Orange County Public Schools says grief counselors are being made available as they cope with this loss. A day after the incident, News 6 did talk with one neighbor who refused to go on camera for fear of retaliation, said she knew the mother and daughter. She's such a beautiful girl. I mean, you know, so quiet. You would want her for a neighbor. She, no loudness, no riffraff. Her kids well controlled. Uh, this case is still under investigation. If you have any information about this, you are encouraged to call police. We're in Orlando. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.